Polybius is an urban legend about a rare game cabinet released in 1981. The game was created by a mysterious company called Slilshausen, German for sense deletion, and was a puzzle shoot 'em up somewhat like Tempest. It was only released in a few suburbs around Portland, Oregon, so <laughs> not many people got to play it. But for the few who did, it was supposedly very popular, with people forming lines to play it. However, players reported seeing strange things about the game. Such as hearing a woman crying, or seeing grotesque faces out of the corner of their eyes. Players would also have nightmares and experience nausea, headaches, blackouts, or even develop an amnesia. Some even committed suicide. Others stopped playing games altogether and became what you know as anti-gaming activists. According to the owner of one such arcade, men in black suits would often come in to collect records from the game. They did not take any money, just simply the data on the gameplay. Because of this, there are theories that some sort of government experiment was going around, using subliminal message within the game. The game today remains in obscurity, as around one month after its release, all the cabinets suddenly disappeared. One cabinet reappeared in an arcade in 1998, but quickly disappeared again. While some have tried to recreate the game, no one's found the original ROM, and some believe it might have something to do with MK Ultra, which was a lovely little experiment done by our own CIA. <laughs> Others believe that it has something to do with the LSD experiments, and, well, due to some of the symptoms that the game seemed to cause, LSD might be one of the only things that could explain this. Hope you enjoy. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is That Creepy Reading. Sorry for the short pause today. I'm simply bleh, working on doing, um, I think it's uh, something about Gumball Lost episode. If you guys are interested in sending me creepy pastas to read or your own, feel free to send them as long as it's a link to the creepy pasta wiki or merely, you know, like some sort of creepy pasta site. And understand that when you send me something that you've written that I'm I might record it and that might involve me putting it on YouTube. So, yes, I hope you enjoyed that reading. If you're interested in having me read a creepypasta, message me on my YouTube page or simply comment in the description or comments below. This has been your host, That Creepy Reading, and I hope you enjoyed this short but lovable pasta.